Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story and our good friend Dennis Roxworthy is with us. It's a little windy today, so we're going to ignore the wind because we're in Illinois, but uh, this car is un... just, you're going to love it when you see it. And the day couldn't be better to film it. So, Dennis, what do we bring today? We brought a 1960 Thunderbird two-door hardtop, one of the last ones made in, in, uh, in the factory when it, it was called a square bird. It came out in 58 to 60. One of the last square birds, and uh, why this car of all the cars in the world? Well, my dad had one new. I was a kid, 16 years old, driving his around. So it was a throwback. You know, you make your dad's car. Did you get any tickets in dad's car? Oh, yes. <laughs> got a few. Because he had the police package in his. So it was pretty <laughs> police fast. Police package. Come on with me. Well, I'm glad you subdued yourself to a non police package car. And let's take a look at that. It's so bright, I have to move over because the sun was blinding us off the front bumper. Now the color on this one, you'll see it in the trunk of trees, is uh, Acapulco blue. And again, I apologize for any of the wind noise. But look at some of the sculpting. You've got that bullet there. And they call it, I thought this was great jewelry there. You put your hand in there. The keyboard, the very squared, almost a flat black, if I could say it right, flat back window is what I'm trying to say. And we'll take a look at the back in a second after we're done. And look at how this one just gleams. Interesting mirrors, very well done. Car was modeled after a um, sport luxury version. Obviously the, what did you call it, the baby birds? Baby birds were 55, 6, and 7. Yeah. Just replaced them. I never really quite got that little lip on the inside that just seemed to me like it would catch a lot of wind. But the, On the roof? Yeah. Look how, how complex that windshield is. How yeah. Curve. That's a hard complex yeah. curve, right. Mm -hmm. And yet we'll show our hubcap here. With the logo. And you can see how clean this one is. Look at all the bolts. This one's like straight from the factory. Yeah. Our hood. Like the fender ornaments with the Thunderbird, as you can see right through those. Maybe I'll show it to you that way. So you got a few tickets in it. Obviously, you survived. Congratulations. Well, right. Did you survive your dad's wrath when you got tickets in it? Did he know you were taking it? Yeah, he knew I got a ticket, I told him. <laughs> he went to court with me and got me off. <laughs> <laughs> this time? For burning rubber. For burning rubber. Again, I've got to move a little bit just so you could see that front because of the sun. That's got a big fish mouth to it. Yes, it does. It's not like it's going to swallow you. Let's, uh, now the hood actually opens the opposite way, but right. let's open that up. We'll take a look at that. Stick at the latch on that side? Yeah, it's over here. Okay. There we go. Would make sense on the driver's side. Yep. So what cubic inch do we have on this? This is a 352, 300 horse, big block. And they started out as a 332, they went all the way up to a 427. Wow. This is a standard engine in a 60. Thunderbird. You can see that's functional. Now how often do you drive this one? Because you've got all the pieces to it. Uh, probably not too much. Probably three to four times. Just the car shows. It's a car show car. And we're going to drive it today. We're going to drive it today. For the viewers. Any specific reason why they went with the yellow valve covers? You know, I don't know. That's what Ford did. And in 58, they were blue. 59, they were another color. So Ford did that a lot with their cars in the 50s and 60s. They put different colors on the 
on the engine each year. But that's stock. That's the way they were. That's great. So it's even got the correct markings on the, uh, on the... Yeah, that's your final assembly. Dot marks. What a great car. Let's... Uh, before we fire it up, we're going to keep that there. Let me do the interior for a second. Okay. Now, usually on it there, I was going to say, usually there's our, there's what I'm looking for. And we've got our, we got our brake pedals. I like how they even put this chrome piece down yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, they were really deluxe. They were really, this one's got the optional leather interior. They had three different kind of interiors. Power seats. Power seat, power, power seats. Windows, this power folds yep. way down, so you can have yeah. lots of room to get in. And let me show you. I thought that was really nice. And let me just show you up the center here too. That's a nice console. And they gave you almost a feel of separate buckets. You enter with the Thunderbird. This is kind of interesting here too. This configuration, mm -hmm. how they. Did that off the windshield. Right. And we'll show you the top. Now, was that an option, your compass? Because that looks almost well, time that, period yeah, correct. It, the guy I bought it from, he was older gentleman, put that in there. I left it because it's kind of the history of the car. Yeah. And he put that gauge on the bottom too for the oil pressure. You know, but it looks all period but correct. It, it is kind of a period thing. Yeah. Greeted by the Thunderbird there. The gauge is very separated, mm -hmm. very clear. I like how on the uh, needle it has kind of an arrow look to it. Kind of reminds you of an airplane, doesn't it? Yeah. And the Ford Magic Air system. Nice too for the passenger. I'll show that over there. The word Thunderbird. And even this knob kind of has almost an ivory mm -hmm. look to it. But I always appreciated, as we go down the center, how they uh, how they gave a very specific, you know, separation of the two. Right. In other words, you're the driver, you sit here. And you're the passenger, you sit here. No question about that. All right, let's uh, let's fire it up, shall we? The door's custom, too. That is really slick. That's nice. Can you step on the brakes while we have the back end in the dark there? Wonderful. They've got the dual exhaust here, as you can see. Interesting how the exhaust comes straight down. Look at that there. Let's give it a little rub, would you? turn this one around and show you the uh, tail in the light. And here's the back of this T-Bird. And it has these wonderful fins that you can see. And let's get a little closer. It has these great tail lights. I want to show you this from the top. And you can see that nice angle there which of course just swoops up. Now show us how this T-Bird actually works, this 
This is a kind of a cool key, in yeah. my opinion. So this is the, this hides the lock. So you pull down on it like that. It stays there. And that's nice. And then you just close it up. And that's sweet. Now we have some trunk and treats, and we've laid them out. Now it's a little windy, as you can already see. They're flipping for us. I don't even have to go anywhere. Um, so the 60 Ford Thunderbird, world's most wanted car. That's saying something. And let's start with right there is the window sticker for the car. You can see the options. I'm going to put that there. These are original brochures, so I'm going to be very delicate, of course, as you would expect. I like how they put that exactly with the the 64 Thunderbird, only car of its charm in the world. There it is there. The 60 Thunderbird hardtop. And it's uh, such a classy car, isn't it? It is. They actually made a sunroof as a one-year-only car in a, in a T-Bird. In a 60. In a 60. Right. I like that. It looks like the one's in a bathing suit and the other guy's out on the golf course in a suit and tie. Mm-hmm. You can do both. Yep. The retractable top there. The dazzling new Thunderbird convertible. Every line is of distinction. Not sure why he's in the back and she's in the front and nobody's in the driver's seat, but we'll just let you <laughs> enjoy that. Oh, they do it again. Yeah. See how the seats fold flat? It's yeah. a very easy car to get in and out of. Well, here's your flat seat that you're talking about. Dashing as a sports car. About the pink one. There you go. Here's your sunroof I'm talking about. Yeah. Now something tells me, did 59 also have a sunroof or no? No, I don't know. The square birds, you know, the 58, 59, and 60 were all the same car. Okay. And they only put the sunroof on the 60. Okay. They, there was only like 20, I want to say 4,000 of them made total, was all. Was all. If that, I actually like that shot. The guy taking the photograph of the guy with the horse. That's a good. That's yeah. a good one. Now someone's thinking there. Mm -hmm. The standard 300 horsepower with the 352 special, which I'm assuming you've got the 352 that's in here. That's what's in this car. Yeah. That's what they all come with, right? I mean, well, was 430 it? was an option. Oh, Lincoln really? Motor. Yeah, and that's very rare. There it is. Yep. Choose from three transmissions. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a pretty car there, that green one. Here's the people who drive it. Oh, that's great stuff. And then the Ford Here's the, uh, Division. The buyer's guide. Now this is the buyer's guide. We pull this out because look, at the back there's this, this is intact. You can get this little car as a toy. Free. Your free compliments. I wanted to show you that in the back first. And some of these armchair estimators. The Buyer's Digest of New Car 60 Facts. Not for sale. So I won't go all the way through it. But I'll just show you a couple of quick pages. I thought that last page was pretty cool tax deductions every driver should know. So just because it's getting a little windy, I'm going to put some of this here. Did I miss something on that? Oh, there's all I, your different I, color I, choices. I did, I did miss something yeah. on that. Look at all the different variables, how you two-tone these things. Wow. That's a great brochure. And the color of this car is right there, Acapulco 
blue poly, but we'll show you all of the 60 Ford colors. All right, we'll put that there. Let me show you the, the trunk, and you can see it's got some sound deadener. It's got that neat piece there. And here, you can see the jack is way back there. And we'll go from there. Dennis, uh, I think we uh, need to take this one for a ride. Sure, let's do it. So I'm with Dennis, and we're here in the 60s Square Bird, uh, enjoying a little cruise on a perfect day. A little windy, but still perfect, so we apologize if there was a little too much excessive wind noise. We did the best we could with what we had when we could do it. Yeah, it's still a little windy even in here, but I think we can hear each other okay. So uh, you told me that uh, Dad had one of these. That inspired you. Right. And my brother had one, my, my older brother had one, and my dad had one. So you had to get four. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I bought a... How many do you have? I got two. Two, all right, yeah. Convertible and a heart, this one. Convertible. I we'll the, see the convertible yeah, in another episode. Right, I bought the convertible first. And this one I tripped over. So it's got plenty of power. Yeah, it does. Man, it's windy, isn't it? Yeah, but that's a great look out the hood. It's just a great look out the hood. So now you don't drive this one too much. No, it's you know it's it's a garage clean all you know it doesn't go out in the bad weather of course at all. Yeah. And then uh, I take it to car shows. It's done a lot of car shows, won a lot of awards. Known as a stylish cruiser. That's what it is. It's a Boulevard cruiser. Now you were sharing with me too when you drive this car, uh, even when you were younger, you said you felt special. Yeah, you did because it was actually a very expensive car. You know, mostly wealthy people bought these things because a Falcon cost you eighteen hundred. This car was over almost five thousand. Yeah. With all the options on this car, it's a five thousand dollar car. So you know, most people bought a Galaxy or a Fairlane. The Falcon, of course, got it was real popular. It came off really well. Well, I just want to share with you, I feel special with you when we're driving in the car, so I can understand how you'd feel that way. And Dennis, what a treat to hang with you, as, again, as usual, uh, in your great cars. Thanks so much for being on my car story. Oh, thank you, Lou, for having me. My pleasure.